Good morning, everybody. We are back on the job. It is Monday. Hope everybody had a great weekend. I worked down on those ditches all weekend, but uh, gotta do what you gotta do. So we're back out here on the development property. Gorgeous day out here on the marsh. It's low tide and uh, we got a little bit more work to do. Um, I didn't think we were gonna have to do this, but we are gonna be doing it. So let's take a look at what we got and uh, we'll get to it. So the, originally the developer said he was gonna come in here and just have his guys clear this by hand. And then he changed his mind and said, hey, go ahead and just knock this out. So, okay, no problem. So got the skid steer. Uh, I'm just gonna come through here and hog out whatever I can get with the skid steer really quick. Um, you know, I think I can get most of it. If not, this is section I think I can get most of it. Uh, down there it gets a little tighter with some of the pines and the other trees. So um, as soon as I'm done with the skid, I'm gonna go down uh, to the farm job. I'm gonna grab the mini with the mulcher and then we'll come back and fine tune any areas we need to fine tune. We got some dead trees right here probably need to come down. So that's what we gotta do. We're gonna make all this look nice and get a nice view here. So uh, let's get started.
All right, that's looking pretty good. I got a lot more of that than what I originally thought I would be able to get, but uh, we got a good bit of it. I'm gonna run go grab the mini and we'll just walk it in here and just tidy up some of these tighter areas really quick and clean this up and make it look nice. Just kind of get around some of these trees a little better and clean this up. So, but the skid steer did a lot more of this than what I thought. I'm really happy with that. That did not take too long to get that done. So, hopefully I can get both these machines off this job tomorrow. We're gonna take uh, the mini to Dobbs tomorrow, I hope, to get the AC worked on and get on to the next thing. All right, I was gonna go get the mini. I still have to go get the mini for some stuff this week or it's gotta go to the shop. But I had this on the trailer already up there at the hill and uh, I was unloading it so I could clear the trailer off so I could go get the mini and I was like, huh, I wonder if it would just kind of clean up these last little things in here I want to mulch down. So I, I really haven't had a chance to really see what this thing will do. Um, I know this thing would be a lot better off again if we had the new hardened steel teeth. Those are coming here very soon. But I still want to see what this thing can and can't do. So let's just go through here, see if we can't just clean up around some of these trees. We don't have to get this into real super fine mulch. They're just it's just being loaded up and put into a dump truck so i mean as long as it's in reasonably small pieces it, it, you know nothing crazy uh i mean even that is fine like that right there i mean we'll break that up a little bit but you know anything like that is fine so let's just see what this thing can do let's just mess around with it while i've got some time they, they're going to take that machine up there and unload the uh the twf off the off the trailer it's sitting on the trailer by itself so I've got a few minutes before they get to unloading that truck. Let's just see what it can do.
that actually worked i wasn't even gonna mess with that thing but i i, I was waiting on them to come with the machine and unload the twf that's on the the trailer and i was and i was unloading that and i was like i'm gonna take it down here and mess around for a minute and i was like uh, and i got down here and i was like i think this thing can do it all let me just film it and let's just see what it'll do and i'll be damned if it didn't do every bit of the stuff i wanted it to do and that just saved me a ton of time so now i don't have to go get the mini and bring it here unload it do the little bit of work and then have to load it back up and leave um i can pretty much just load this thing back up and go because i'm taking it to landscaper greg because he wants to use it and just in time because it looks like there's a thunderstorm coming so we got this done just in time but that is freaking awesome that's free i literally just use this on a real job to finish out this job no bs i literally just used that to finish up the last little bit of this work i can't believe it that, that that's freaking awesome and just you wait until i get the new freaking teeth for this thing that are the sharp knives man just you suckers wait until i get some new teeth on this thing i mean and those carbides didn't do a bad job in here either they pretty much took down everything i needed to do i took down a pretty decent size uh cedar tree right there took it right out pancaked it right down and and it would have done it so much easier uh with the new teeth too um because if i can get a razor edge on those teeth that son of a gun will cut it'll cut because we can get it up to about 2000 rpm oh she'll smoke some stuff I'm telling you guys this little son of a gun is bad i'm not gonna lie um I know I saw in a lot of comments you guys want to make it wider and I think we do have a, uh, a 100 coming out that'll be wider so if you've got like a 35 horsepower machine or 50 horsepower machine and these mini skids uh, this one is more designed for like the 24 25 horsepower size machines the little smaller ones I don't think we can make it much wider because you're going to add more weight to the drum and that's just going to be more strain on the hydraulics um, you're probably going to get a little bit less rpm and a little bit less recovery if we make it any wider so i think this one's going to stay at the 50 and then we've got some 100s coming that'll be wider for the little bit bigger machines so that is coming as well i talked to casey the owner at cce today um, about that and uh i didn't even know uh i didn't even know they had this one until they pretty much gave it to me or i saw it at the dealer a few uh, a few months ago and um and then i didn't even know about the 100 until yesterday so that's coming down the pipe so if you have a little bit bigger skid uh like one of those vermeer 160s or something like that uh that 100 will be perfect on that size machine and the new teeth are coming august for september so they are i'm trying to see if tmc will just go to the manufacturer get like a box of like 20 of them and ship them to me really quick um if i could do that that would be perfect but uh yeah these carbides they definitely have their place we did hit a little bit of trash and some stuff in here so um i think both teeth have their place for different jobs uh for this one i would have liked the hardened the hardened steel where i get a nice sharp edge but these carbides did not do a bad job in here at all at all so if you were interested in getting one obviously you guys know uh in the description below there's a website phone number uh for cce equipment and uh, you can use the promo code i dig it they're uh, they're over here loading out mulch <laughs> we got all kinds of stuff going on this place has come a long way since we started it's looking good but yep check out uh the link below and hope you guys enjoyed the video that this this was totally unexpected i was not planning on using this thing today for any of this i was going to go get the mini and i got a lot more done in here with the skid than i thought and uh, we were able to just make it work so that's awesome all right we got a big thunderstorm coming i'm gonna get out of here so i'll check you guys later bye everybody